Uh, our live coverage of the 13th right, annual Panerathon now, continues so right here at the Cabelli make, Center. And I have to introduce you to two men who make this possible. They play such a huge role, of area. course, if owner can, of Cabelli Enterprises. We line have line Sam Cabelli and also the president the of Youngstown so State University, President Jim Trestle. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. Now, I just want to start off with the crowd. I know the pandemic, it kind of slow things down for us and, uh, a little bit but the energy is back here. the numbers are back I was saying about 10,000 people all morning long but you gave me a, an update a minute ago it's, sure you're saying it's between 10 and 11,000 and it, we're back to having our well. old Panerathon okay. back it's yeah. fantastic and we're raising a lot of money for such a great cause right it's incredible this year it's going to be close to $500,000 raised it's it's amazing and it's, it's totally blown away last year and with runners and with the amount of money raised and uh, this, we're, we're just so happy Again, this if you're is a heart project the for of the both race, of you. I know a lot of your students are out here. I see they have a tent over there. Talk about that. I know it makes you so proud to just see the university join in with the Cavellis on this effort. Well, there's no question. It's a great opportunity for them to learn life's lessons that you reach out and touch other people. And then their opportunity to be in the community and hear from all the people that thank them because they're survivors. And it's just what Sam and Karen and his entire family have done and his Cavelli Enterprises team, communities don't have folks like this and we're, we're very, very blessed. We are blessed and, and I know you hear those thank yous a lot. Talk about that, how many people come up to you and just say thank you? I've heard it just today, but I all year people, everyone somewhere in their family has been touched by breast cancer. It's, and there's so many survivors because it was detected early enough and I just, it means so much to everybody here. They're here for a cause. And I, I want to thank President Tressel for the support YSU's given us this over the years. The athletes are leading the, the, the uh, start here. And all the, the uh, there's so many young people at YSU that are supporters of this Panerathon. I just can't thank the volunteers enough. And Mercy Health has been incredible. Yeah. And I'm seeing everyone lining up behind us right i and mean through us th through us they're walking past us <laughs> it's like we're not even here but it's okay because they're all here to support such an amazing cause the adv ad advancements that you guys have been able to bring to this area such as the uh, mammography unit and even Joni's promise helping with financial uh, assistance you guys are breaking down so many barriers because of what happens here today hey. I just heard from doctors. This is interesting. I just actually I just heard it. Mortality is down more in this Mahoning Valley than the on the entire state. It's wow. one of the lowest. Like that. That's incredible. I, I, part I, because of this. Well, there's a lot of everyone's involved in that, and it's just a, it's an unbelievable. This community is something else. And you guys are something else. Mr. Sam Cavelli and President Jim Tressel, we thank you so much for all you do for this community and making sure this event happens year after year. And if you're not out here, you can still do your part and give back. Panerathon.org. There's always a button there for you to donate. Thank you again. And thank, thank you. you to all of the runners out here, families at home, go online, donate today. And we will have more WFMJ weekend today after the break.